Select your hero. Hello and welcome to my follow-up video on Overwatch performance on Ryzen processors. And this is on the 1700 Ryzen processor. 1700, not the X version. And it's clocked right now to 3.825 gigahertz, which is a 0.25 gigahertz increase. No wait, 0 0.025 gigahertz increase over my last With every video. Death, so I managed to get my overclock a tiny bit higher. Honor, redemption. Nothing crazy though. So this is a clock that most people should be able to achieve on their motherboards. With the 1700. So it's conserv It's a decent clock, but it's a conservative one that most people should be able to achieve with decent air cooling. As for what else has changed, I've managed to get my RAM at tighter timings using a nifty program that I'll... Uh, I'll link in the video Five, description four, and I'll link a video as well on how to use the program and it's called um, DRAM Calculator for Ryzen and what that does is basically gives you stable settings that should be stable for your type of RAM and your processor, your Ryzen processor. As you can see my FPS is pretty good. I'm still running competitive settings, so most things are off or on low. Oh, thank you God for killing me. Thank you. Opening the tab screen and the kill cam does reduce performance. So just keep that in mind. Start over at the beginning. But regardless, here's the game. Have a look at the um, video settings. That's what I'm running. I don't run reduced buffering anymore because it turns itself on and off and it leads to inconsistencies in my opinion. So I just leave that off now and go for the... I usually actually cap it at 200 because I stream and that's a... I can sustain 200 while I'm streaming. Apologize for my bad play. I'm not very good at playing and talking at the same time. Another thing I've done, which I forgot to mention, is I I made my command rate on my RAM 1T. So that's basically timing related, but it's worth mentioning. And I um I disabled bank group swap because for my RAM kit, it apparently increases gaming performance. Did I almost just say it increases gaming? been a weird statement to make. Increases gaming. I'm on fire. As you can see I'm on fire because my game's just running so good. Running so good that I'm an unbeatable hand. Oh, 
So yeah, if you can find a good deal on a Ryzen processor, a computer with a Ryzen processor and a decent graphics card and good RAM, you got a good deal and you're worried about Overwatch performance, I would say it runs fine. And not only does it run it like this, it runs it like this when streaming as well. That when streaming there's almost no performance impact because of all the cores, all them cores. But I would recommend, the if you're buying a new PC, I wouldn't recommend these processors anymore unless you get a good deal. I would um, recommend the Ryzen Plus processors because they've got a few features that make them much better than these in my opinion. Um, such as the ability to overclock themselves. They overclock themselves according to how hot they are, so their thermal environment and how much voltage your motherboard can feed them, etc, etc. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to set the affinity of the game to the last four cores of the processor. And what this does is, so I'm setting the process to cores 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So that's the last four hyper-threaded cores on the processor. It keeps the process on one CCX because the processor is divided into two four core clusters and they communicate between this cluster using the infinity fabric which is basically a very high bandwidth um, link on the CPU die between these two clusters. And for a game that doesn't utilize much more than six threads, limiting it to one CCX can improve frame rate and latency. So I've just done that and we'll see how, it, how the frame rate compares. I'm noticing that recording using OBS, I am getting random drops that I don't usually get. Um, when I'm streaming, I don't seem to have the problem as much, but maybe it's because I'm recording at a high bitrate. But that is something I've Select noticed during this um, recording. Is that I'm definitely getting sudden drops I don't usually get. It could be due to a new Overwatch update, who knows. Maybe the latest update has caused a performance issue. But um, the feeling of the game is very smooth. I'm not noticing it in the feel, I'm just noticing it in the FPS counter. I like to try to snipe people as a crew, and I shouldn't really. Whoopsie. Oh dear, I thought that was a half thing here.
Gotta love the new mystery right now. Fuck. Is all I have to say. It ain't my time. This gunslinger's loaded. That one must be low health, bro. Okay, I got to go back. The payload is approaching its destination. I've got business. Heal up. Payload status. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with my weapon accuracy. So my game's running pretty fast. You know? Weapon accuracy is all about how fast the kid runs. Not really, but... At least it's not a limiting factor. Victory! Play of the game. So the player of the game usually has a drop as well. Double. Ray did all the damage. As for other things that I do to keep the game running fast, I turn off I did, uh, turn off display offline friends on social, and that's just because someone told me to do it and it increases FPS, so I do that. I don't actually know if it does. Another thing I do is I um, close the Battle.net app, and I don't have any other apps running in the background, such as Steam or any background processors, really, apart from the ones that, well, I have OBS running, obviously, right now, to record. Apart from that, I don't have anything running. The reason my videos are very unprofessional is that they're not monetized. My channel isn't monetized, so this is all just a hobby. The only thing I can say is I'd appreciate if you subscribed or follow me on Twitch. I'm very active on Twitch. I play a variety of games, but I play a lot of Overwatch. My channel is Kuroku underscore gaming, and I'll link it in the um, description. Thanks all for watching. I'm sorry the follow-up took so long. Goodbye. And have a good one.